Hi, and welcome to City Beat. I'm your host, Beej, Recreation Coordinator with Lewiston Parks and Recreation. And today, our guest is Executive Director of the Lewiston Civic Theater, Beth Larson. Hi, Beth. How are you? Hi, Beej. I'm great. Thank you. Good. Let's just jump right in. Who makes it all possible at Civic Theater? You know, there's hundreds of volunteers that really do it for us. Um, we have a lot of uh, volunteer opportunities, basically. Uh, you don't always have to be on stage to, to be at the Civic Theater. Um, when the shows are running, we have ushers that help seat people and house managers that um, kind of make the show happen, you know, start and finish, intermission, that kind of thing. Um, there are a lot of other opportunities as well behind the scenes. So uh, we have, you know, weeks that we prepare to uh, set. And so um, it could be construction type and painting. And, um, and a person doesn't have to even have experience in doing much of these things if they want to just give it a shot and come on down because, you know, we're just like a family there and, and we can help new people um, to learn what we need help with too. So a lot of behind the scenes yet on stage as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, but volunteers just, uh, like I say, hundreds of them that help us um, throughout the year, uh, not only with the, the stage and set, but we do things around the community and we have an outreach um, committee that we have, um, they do the parade floats. Uh, there's, what is there, three, there's the county fairs um, and we, we've done the Christmas parade as well and so we always need people to help out with um, getting a float ready and that's really fun so we try to coordinate with the shows that are running and uh, and decorate our float accordingly so um, there's yeah all kinds of, of volunteer opportunities for anyone who would like to get involved and we would appreciate a lot of help we, we you know have to have that to uh, to keep our our shows running so um, if I can, can you just talk a little bit about yourself, your background? Are you from Lewiston? If, are you not? Um, how did you become the executive director of the Civic Theater? Well, that's an interesting uh, question. Um, I'm not a native of Lewiston. I moved here about 15 years ago. My husband, um, his brother, brought us here with a business. Uh, so we moved from the Midwest, and um, I've never lived in this uh, small of a community, but it certainly just has felt like home ever since we got here. I love the area and a lot of things that the, the, the Valley offers um, is, is just perfect. And my son, you know, went to school here at Clarkston and, um, you know, I, I had done a few different things around the Valley, uh, owned my own business um, for a while and worked for the Lewis Clark Building Contractors Association um, off and on in the past 15 years. So. Um, it was interesting because I was looking for something new. I was looking for something different uh, just about two and a half years ago or so. And uh, I saw an ad in the paper for the Lewis and Civic Theater. And it seemed um, like it's a nonprofit. And I'd worked for a nonprofit before. I have a board of directors of about 12 people and had done that with the um, Builders Association as well. Uh, the theater part, though, was a little bit uh, different as far as... Um, I want to say learning curve, you know, I'm really not a typically uh, like theater person, so, but just running the business part was uh, what interested me, and you gotta love the people. Everybody at the Civic Theater is just really fun, and a lot of uh, energy there, and creativity, and um, I, I just felt like I ended in a, in a good place at the Civic, so I'm really excited to be there. Good. Um, can you talk about a few of your programs that you do, not necessarily, uh, you know, plays themselves, but what are some uh, some program uh, that go on? Well, we have a youth uh, program that I'd love to tell you about. Uh, it's uh, called Acting Out, and Mel Severson is the director of the, the youth company. And um, it's, it's really a great thing for the youth in the Valley. And uh, Mel runs a schedule through the calendar school year, and it's typically like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday deal from like 4 to 5.30. And um, she's just amazing with the, the young people in the Valley. And she's had quite a few in her classes at any given time. But they do um, a lot of different things. Uh, sometimes they'll end up doing at the end of their six-week session or eight-week session, uh, they'll maybe do like a dinner theater. They'll actually put it on and, and parents and relatives can come and, and see it. Um, they've done other things like monologues and... 
Um, she teaches them a lot of different things and, and makes it real interesting for them. And then uh, um, Mel also does a production in the summer. And it's, it's more of a, well, I'm going to just spill the beans. We're doing Annie Jr. <laughs> this summer. So it's going to be a fun show. And that's not typically the acting out, but it is with the youth. So we do that every summer. And Jackie Haight also has um, a children's workshop that she does um, earlier in uh, June. And that's a, just a shorter two-week kind of a, a deal. And kids can come and participate in that as well. So we do have a lot of different things for, for the youth. And that's the future of the theater. So we really um, like to have a lot of great things for them. So, Good. That's, mm -hmm. And that's, of course, you know, the future of anything is going to be our youth. So starting there is important. Um, can you talk about, you know, the process of how a show gets picked? Do you have to pay a fee to be able to, to, to you know, act in, or to, to run a production? Um, kind of the, the, the behind the scenes stuff as far as theater goes. Well, it, it's quite a process to um, plan our next season and it starts well in advance. So um, we have been planning uh, for the last like six to eight months uh, for next season. And uh, we do have to apply for the rights, which a musical is definitely um, more. We're talking thousands of dollars. Um, some are more like four or five, but some can be seven or eight thousand just to do the, uh, the production. And so um, you start really early applying for uh, all the licensing and, and planning who the directors are going to be. And we have a production committee that actually um, gets together um, like, I don't know, at least half a dozen or more times. And they research uh, the different um, plays and musicals that we would think would be of interest to people. And they work really hard on trying to come up with, you know, what are we going to do next and who can direct it. And the talent is phenomenal here in the Valley. Um, it, it seems like we always need more men. <laughs> so um, that can be a challenge if we have a, a you know, play or musical that, that needs a lot of men. So there's a lot of different things to consider. And um, it, it, when everybody puts their heads together and, and um, can talk through all the options and come up with the best one, and then they um, approach our board of directors and, and give the recommendations, and then they actually vote on what we're going to be doing for the next season which we do have, um, we just had announced our, our next season uh, at the Fine Arts Ball this past Saturday. So we got to reveal all the next shows, which we're really excited about. So, but the process starts well in advance. <laughs> and then um, the directors now are just planning on, um, like for the fall show, uh, I know um, getting started already on doing dance classes and getting p other people prepared to, to audition. And so, um, as we get closer to the date, they'll you know get a schedule going for the rehearsals, which are you know they can be really well in advance, eight, ten weeks even. And depending on what other people's schedules are, they just have to get everything organized and start start planning. Yeah, I th I think uh, sometimes the assumption is that you know a few weeks before um, you guys say you're going to do this play or this musical, and then there's a uh, cast rehearsal, and then ta-da. <laughs> There's obviously a lot more involved in that. And the reason, one of the reasons I asked you that question is one of the events that we do with Parks and Recs is our movies on the wall. And so I also have to, I can't just show a movie um, because it's considered a public performance, just like you guys do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm paying anywhere from 450 to 550 to, if it's a new movie, up to $1,000 to show one evening. Yes. And, you know, we do those for free. So you know, which is a great segue into financials. So, you know, you said that a, a musical could be a thousand dollars or plus. How do people get involved financially? How do they help sponsor production? Well, we have uh, a few ways to, um, to help the Civic out uh, financially. We have memberships and they start at five dollars for a student or for a, uh, I guess it's 14 and under. And then we have a student one. And then the adult membership starts at $30, and it can go up to whatever amount. We would take anything, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the memberships are really important, um, and they do add up. And uh, we have different levels, and of course you get a little extra thing when you're at a certain level, whether it's tickets or, or some other fun things from the Civic. Um, 
but that is a really uh, good way uh, to support. The other really new um, sponsorships that we're doing uh, this year, uh, we're really excited about because we have um, show sponsorships. So there's three different different levels for that, and you get different amounts of um, passes to come to the show. And of course, um, a business would be, uh, depending on which tier they chose, um, they get a, d a different amount of advertising with that. So, um, and that runs from 500 uh, for the third tier, the second tier is 1,000, and the first tier is 2,000. And then, um, otherwise, we do have our regular season sponsorships. So those are just the individual show ones, and then we have for the whole entire season, which does include a lot more, and that's anywhere from $2,500 to 6,000. So um, we are, we're actually getting a few sponsors. We're so excited about that because I think things have been tough for a while, and, and we did have a couple of down years, and we don't make a lot of money just on ticket sales alone. So we, we definitely want to partner with people and, and can uh, use the help just to keep the building going. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on there. It's 100 years old, 107 years old. So there's all, all kinds of maintenance and other things that, um, that we could really use some help with. So, but this is a new sponsorship uh, opportunity for businesses, individuals, whoever would like to do it. And uh, we have um, a wonderful live brochure that we, uh, we have produced every year, and that includes advertising um, as well. So a lot, of, a lot of support there if we can draw from different, different people and businesses. Yeah, absolutely. Um, y you know, and we are in the same boat with Parks and Rec stuff, you know, like the movies on the wall. Uh, I was just, just mentioning is that, you know, for us to be able to show for free, we have to have sponsors. So we're, you know, I completely and totally <laughs> understand, you know, how, where you're coming from. So right. um, can you give viewers uh, contact information? So if they do want to be a part of Civic Theater or donate money or sponsor um, specific shows or a season, mm -hmm. how do they contact you? They can just give a call. Uh, our number is 208-746-3401. Um, and um, yeah, please let us know. Uh, give a call, um, and and we can send information out and make sure people understand everything with the sponsorships and memberships. And when they visit the theater as well, uh, we have a membership table, and we have um, our wonderful friend Dave Walker, who usually mans that for us. And uh, people can stop and get information on membership right there if they come to a show. How about a website? Uh, ah, lctheater.org. You bet. Everything's on the website. So show information and and uh, our contact information too. Um, thank you so much. Is there anything else you want to add before we go? I would just encourage anyone to come on out to the theater. We have uh, wonderful uh, shows coming up here real soon and into the next year. So welcome everybody to come. And if you've never been, because I know there's people who have never been, they yeah. just need to give it a shot. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Beth. I really appreciate your time uh, coming here on City Beat and hanging out thank and you. showing or telling everybody you know, all the fun stuff that's going on with the Civic Theater. So Appreciate thank you. It. Appreciate it. Thank you. On behalf of everyone here, we want to thank you, and we will see you next time on City Beat.